In this video, we're going to look at the paragraph formatting features in, um, on the home ribbon. And the paragraph formatting section is right here, kind of in the middle um, of that section um, for that. And on the Mac computer, it looks a little bit different than on the PC, which is why I wanted to um, make this video on the Mac. Now, what you're seeing here um, just the document that I've set up and we're going to look at the different features that are on this ribbon. So we have, we'll start with the um, bulleted list. I can select a list of items and then I can go to the bulleted list and I can pick a bullet style that I like and it will apply that bulleted list style. You can notice it gets rid of the spacing. Um, I can change the bullets if I want to um, to make them look a little different but we have control over that. The next item over is the numbered list, and that's this one. Uh, again, I have control over what the numbers look like. I'm just going to leave that alone. But I can also use this to make what we call an outline numbered list, which makes it have um, different levels. And the way I get those different levels in there is by clicking in front of the item and pressing tab. One tab introduced... Uh, puts it at the next level um, and I'm going to follow along. This is a level two, this is a level two, and I forgot those were supposed to be level three, but I forgot to change them to a three. There we go. And press twice to get to level three. And you can see what I'm using is the tab key on my keyboard and that puts those at the different levels. Um, so that is the bulleted and numbered lists. These two buttons here are indenting. If I select this paragraph, we'll, we'll uh, apply that here. Um, this increases the indent. An indent is a um, temporary changing of the margins. So it doesn't impact margins for the whole page. It just impacts uh, the margins for the paragraph or paragraphs you have selected. And I can increase it. Um, as much as I want. If I go too far, I can um, decrease the indent. Okay. Now, we're talking about paragraph formatting features. I want to talk about what a paragraph is. And while most of you go, well, duh, I know a paragraph. I've been writing them for years. Word doesn't see paragraphs the same way that um, humans do. So I'm going to click this button right here. This is called the Show Hide button. And what it does is it shows what we call non-printing characters. That's what happens when you hit like a space or a tab. You can see these are the tabs here, the little arrow. A space is just like a dot. Um, that backwards P is a paragraph mark. It shows up anytime I hit enter. So if I hit enter on my keyboard, I get a paragraph mark. Anything um, between paragraph marks as far as board is concerned is a paragraph. So this is item one, that's a paragraph. This little thing right here with nothing in front of it, that's a paragraph. This paragraph right here, that's also a paragraph. Um, Word doesn't make a distinction. If it has an enter after it, it's a paragraph. So paragraph formatting applies to the entire paragraph. Okay, so I could click down here and we'll talk about now the indents, or not the indents, the uh, alignment. So this is left aligned. The left aligned is the default. Left aligned means that everything is lined up evenly at the left margin and ragged at the right. Center align, which is this one, means everything is lined up centered between the two margins. Right aligned means that everything lines up evenly on the right hand side and is ragged on the left. And then we have justified, which is kind of like, a, like you, uh, it's even on both sides, so like a newspaper. The last thing I want to talk about with the paragraph dialog box is line spacing. Now Word has kind of a weird uh, default for line spacing. It's not single and it's not double. Um, it's like this one's showing 1.15. Uh, I think it's 1.08 um, in the most current version. Um, but when I apply spacing here, and I'll pick this, um, I can choose single spaced. I can choose double spaced. Um, I can choose 1.5. You know, I have control over that. Um, there's also 
something they called spacing before and spacing after. And um, that's not shown on this uh, drop down for the Mac, but if I choose line spacing options, I can see that I have spacing before and spacing after. And the new default for Word is to have spacing after set to eight points. What that does is it adds extra space between each of your paragraphs. Um, most of the time that doesn't matter, but sometimes if you're doing like a research paper, you don't want that extra spacing in there. So you can change that by setting it to zero. Okay, and I can set that. And the other thing I want you to notice is in on the Mac to get to the paragraph dialog box, I have to click on the paragraph drop down and choose options. And that will bring up the paragraph dialog box where I can set my spacing um, to be double or single or whatever I want it to be uh, and click OK. Now there's a few other buttons on the paragraph ribbon. This is for sorting. We'll have a different video on that. And this is for working with tables. So we will also have a different video on that one.